Ladies and gentlemen, a warm greetings from Greece. I'm Erania Lampu. I'm a global educator, a STEM instructor. I'm working at the Greek Ministry of Education, uh, the Directorate of Educational Technology and Innovation, and uh, the Greek Astronomy Space Company. I'm also a um, global ambassador of language, literary, and oratory arts as well as education of the National Pekian Council and also the National Ambassador of Ecumenical Delphic Union. Today, I have the pleasure to welcome you all to our fourth global virtual conference organized by Modern Pekian Games in the National Pekian Council. And why Pekian Games? So the origin of the Pekian Games dates back to the 6th century before Jesus Christ, Pekin Games had been part of Panhellenic Games in ancient Greece and were ranked second in importance behind the Olympics. The Pekin Games revived not only the athletic part of the game, but also the cultural aspect, because the ancient Greek civilization was interested in achieving the ideal balance between body and spirit. Therefore, apart from sporting and athletics, Pekin Games also hosted music and poetry competitions. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, Modern Pekin Games now is our first uh, global cultural movement, which is based on NC Pekin Games, which celebrates uh, arts, cultures, and traditional sports uh, through the exchange and collaboration of different nations, cultures, and traditions. So today, <clears throat> we have uh, eminent and respected personalities from uh, different countries, uh, from Morocco, Malaysia, Philippines, uh, India, uh, Cameroon, Greece, and uh, honorary members of the National Pekin Council who will enlighten us on their vision of Modern Pekin Games in their respective countries. So without further ado, I request uh, um, Dr. Ida from Philippines. Uh, we'll welcome you to our virtual stage, and um, I would like first to introduce yourself and then share with us your vision about Modern Pekin Games in Philippines. Hello, this is uh, Dr. Ida Gauran Chudi from the Philippines. I am actually a researcher, author of books, and a higher education teacher handling English, research, and other education subjects. As a researcher, I have published research articles in Scopus Index and other peer-reviewed journals in the areas of linguistics, education, and social sciences. I also have this advocacy you know, in terms of uh, preservation of cultures. I have been invited as an international speaker in various conferences. That's where I meet uh, Ms. Rania Lampu virtually. And um, presently, I work as the program head of the Bachelor of Technical Vocational Teacher Education at the City College of uh, Davao City. Uh, Philippines. I will begin my talk by uh, sharing my personal accounts as a researcher. Then I will discuss about uh, concern and physical inactivity and the urgency to do uh, physical activity for physical and mental health reasons. Then I will introduce the modern uh, Pistian Games as one of the effective approaches to address uh, some issues. The recent study we accomplished was about the history of uh, Talagan. This is actually one of the indigenous tribe in Mindanao, Philippines. Aside from the history of this particular tribe, my co-author and I also investigated the life-challenging journey of the Talagan women and their aspiration for their tribe. Significant results of the study called for the need to strengthen various approaches to preserve the cultural heritage of their tribe, considering that younger generations are no longer into such, um, particularly in terms of the use of the mother tongue or native tongue, they are no longer using uh, the language. Written documents can be of great help to preserve the cultural heritage. However, the younger ones should be actively involved in activities and festivities locally and region regionally, you know, hopefully with this uh, modern Pythian Games, so that they can showcase <laughs> the cultural heritage through dances, songs, rituals, and exhibits featuring their native food, crafts, and artifacts, thereby gaining recognition respect and admiration from non-Kalaban neighbors and guests. 
Furthermore, outsiders' perception of their tribe can change when they learn to appreciate their culture and uh, practices. Involving Kalagan in the above-mentioned activities can give them a strong sense of pride. Certainly, other minority groups and other cultural groups can empathize with the experiences, with the challenging experiences of the participants of the study. Now, involving modern Pythian games can help address those previously mentioned issues. More so, it also has the end point or the aim of preserving cultural heritage of people from different cultural backgrounds. Of course, realization of this work from various organizations in national government and strong collaboration among people involved. This can allow me to discuss uh, concern on people's physical inactivity, especially in this time of a uh, pandemic. Now, concern for one's health is getting more and more attention, especially during the onslaught of the COVID-19 pandemic. Though people know the importance of health, many still succumb to different illnesses. A look into physical activity surmises as one of the effective ways of gaining or maintaining physical and mental health. However, physical inactivity is considered a serious concern as it leads to several health consequences. Moreover, it is also prevalent as an effect of the COVID-19 pandemic, especially with the lockdowns and movements, restrictions implemented by the government. But even before the pandemic, doing physical activity has been a big challenge to hurdle for many people. And for people to be healthy, they must engage in activities demanding physical investment. Now, the introduction of these modern PDM games is the best avenue where individuals can be involved in sports and be physically active. Now, as emphasized by Nor Sabuina in the Asian magazine, the Asian community is diverse as depicted in various ways, from customary arts and cuisines, customary sports and games. These sports and games manifest people's practices and cultures. They are essential to cultural heritage of every nation. They showcase from past, providing clues to practices in morals of society. Through modern PPM games, we can actually revitalize traditional games and sports. Hence, we can continue to preserve our cultural heritage. It is important to note that heightened awareness of cultural differences leads to acceptance and respect of people's diversity. And respect of people's diversity results in global unity as expressed in modern Christian games vision. So with the vision of fostering global unity through arts, culture, and traditional games, Modern Christian games will open doors to artisans and sportsmen to showcase their talent, skills, and works globally. Likewise, these works of art showcase unique cultures of different nationalities. Furthermore, this will give them opportunity to know other artisans, sportsmen in various countries and be able to learn from them. Let us support modern PPM games. Let us continue to preserve our culture through arts, culture, and Let us support this advocacy, bringing forth unity among nations through international partnerships and convergence of nations. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Rinda, um, for your insightful presentation, uh, for your uh, very analytical overview of uh, the culture and traditions in Philippines and how modern Pithian games can be implemented there. Uh, certainly, uh, you have uh, a very a rich uh, um, cultural heritage and, uh, in collaboration with uh, 
here in Greece, uh, my chapter and uh, uh, your also uh, efforts, uh, we can do a lot. Uh, and uh, as you said, uh, our main goal should be the global unity and how we can go work all together and involve uh, also other nations and countries uh, in these uh, um, cultural activities and uh, um, promote in this way uh, art traditions and sports, traditional sports. Thank you very much for your contribution. And we will Thank be you. in contact for the next steps. Thank you very much. Now, um, I would like to call upon um, our next speaker, uh, Dr. Esther Mala from Malaysia. Um, she will uh, give us her thoughts about modern Pithian games and cultural situation in Malaysia. Uh, the floor is yours, Dr. Esther. Thank you, Dr. Rania Dumpu. Welcome, welcome everyone. Welcome, happy weekend. Glad to meet every one of you here. And uh, thank you for taking your time to uh, be with us today. It's, uh, it's going to be such an interesting uh, session today. Um, sports, yeah. I'm a soft skill trainer, international speaker, educationist, youth and child development coach, a tanko consultant, um, and a few more. <laughs> and okay, uh, today I'll be sharing uh, some information about uh, sports in Malaysia. Yeah, I think most of it are common throughout the world, but we do have our unique uh, uh, sports also. Uh, Malaysia has a vibrant uh, sports culture and it is known for its achievements in various sports at both regional and international levels. Some of popular sports in Malaysia includes badminton, football, which is soccer, squash, field hockey, and sepa takraw. Sepa takraw is similar to volleyball, but volleyball we handle with both our hands, but sepa takraw is played with both our legs. Yeah, they yeah. control the ball with the legs. Uh, let's briefly see uh, some of the key aspects of Malaysian sports um, landscape. Badminton. Badminton is arguably a most in popular sports in Malaysia. The country has produced many, our country has produced many world-class players, including uh, Dato Lee Chong Wei, who one of the greatest badminton players in history. The national badminton team is consistently performed well in international competitions, including Thomas Cup and Sudirman Cup. Next is the soccer. Soccer is also very popular in Malaysia and the national team competes in various international competitions. While the Malaysian team has not achieved significant success on the global stage, domestic football leagues like the Malaysian Super League and Malaysian Cup are followed by passionate um, fans. Next will be squash. Malaysia has a strong tradition in squash and has produced several world-class players. Uh, one of them, of course, everyone knows Nicole David. An icon in women's squash is considered one of the greatest players of all time. The country is regularly host, hosting international squash, squash tournaments. Field hockey. Malaysia has a comp competitive field hockey team and the sport has a significant following. The national team has participated in multiple Olympic Games and other international events. Coming back to Sepa Takro. Sepa Takro, a traditional Southeast Asian sport similar to volleyball, as I mentioned earlier, and played with the feet, is popular in Malaysia. Our country has excelled in the sport at regional competition like Southeast Asian Games, which is very similar. We Malaysian and Indonesia, Thailand, Bangkok, we share almost similar, even Philippines, similar culture. I think Sepa Takrol also famous in Philippines, right? Um, Dr. Ida, yeah? Yeah, so uh, this is more to Asian Games. Uh, other sports we have like kite uh, fighting, you know, 
they fly kites and they try to cut each other's thread. That's what we call it, kite fighting, swimming, cycling, uh, athletics, of course, and then silat. Silat is martial arts. Martial art, uh, like you say, it's Kung Fu and uh, Karate, ta Taekwondo. We have in Malaysia, silat. Okay, gassing. Gassing is the top. We play top. You know, kites, top, uh, our traditional games. Efforts have been made to develop talents and infrastructure for various sports across the nation. Uh, let me see, uh, share with you some of the general insights and possibilities based on trends and historical patterns uh, up here. Uh, first, investment in sports infrastructure. Malaysia has been steadily investing in sports infrastructure to support uh, the development of various sports, uh, the construction of modern stadiums, training facilities, and sports complexes could continue to attract international events and improve local athletics training conditions. Next, athletic development programs. Yeah, we have wonderful programs for the athletic. Um, recently, um, a few programs were introduced um, to, uh, to polish up our athletic uh, athletics sector. The, sec the success of any sports nation depends on quality of its athletics. To remain competitive globally, Malaysia focus on nurturing talent through athletic development programs, talent identification initiatives, and providing group opportunities for young athletics to specialize in their chosen disciplines. Diver third is diversification of sports. While Malaysia has traditionally excelled in sports like badminton and squash, there might also be efforts to diversify and excel in the sports as well, other sports as well. The country uh, is investing in less popular sports to create a more comprehensive sporting landscape. Uh, next will be international sporting events. We are hosting international sporting events um, uh, to boost Malaysia's reputation in global sports community. The, our country uh, also continue to bid for and host major events like Southeast Asian Games, Asian Games, or even seek opportunities to host world championship in various sports. Esports growth. Esports growth has significant growth globally, and Malaysia is no exception to it. As technology and inter internet connectivity improve, esports will continue to gain popularity in our country, Malaysia. Malaysia might invest in esports infrastructure, teams, and events to tap into this uh, emerging uh, industry because. Uh, we don't see we have much problem in this area, eSports, because we have very good sports in infrastructure, um, Wi-Fi infrastructure, and uh, for information, I'm one of the uh, leading telco consultant in my country uh, connected to this uh, Wi-Fi infrastructure. Uh, next will be inclusive and diversity. There could be a focus on uh, promoting inclusivity and diversity in Malaysia sports. Encouraging participation of all genders, ethnic cities, and social economic background uh, helps to lead a more robust and representative uh, sporting community. Next, sports science and technology. Utilizing sports science and technology uh, and can enhance athletics performance, prevent injuries, and optimizing training regimes. Uh, continued investment in sports science and research and its practical application uh, could lead to improved results for Malaysian athletics. Malaysian um, uh, sports, youth and sports uh, ministry uh, has uh, increased the allocation for this. Uh, next will be corporate sponsorship. Private sector involved, involvement through corporate sponsorship uh, and, and uh, plays a crucial role in supporting support initiatives. Uh, also, Malaysian companies increase increasingly recognize the value of sponsoring sports teams, athletics, and events as part of their marketing and corporate social responsibility strategies. So, therefore, 
uh, in, in Malaysia, actual future of Malaysia sport depends on various factors, including government policies, public interest, funding availability, and international development in the sports world. Let's see what is, finally, we see what is the future of Python sports in Malaysia. Uh, please keep in mind that there are speculative and um, may not represent actual future development, what I share here, but these are the uh, attentive um, effort made by Malaysia. First is the growth and diversity. Python sports, like any other sports, uh, may witness growth in popularity and participation in Malaysia as people's interest in sports diversifies there might be an increased focus on less conventional or traditional sports which could include python sports you know knowing that our young generation are more gadget gadget oriented people so uh, I think Malaysia is going to work harder on this next government support yeah, the future of fighting sports in Malaysia could be influenced by the level of support it receives from the government and relevant sporting bodies. Increased funding and initiatives to promote niche sports uh, may lead to more opportunities for athletics and development programs. Next will be international recognition. If fighting sports gain recognition and popularity on an international level, Malaysian athletics in these sports may have exposure and opportunities to compete globally. Technologies advancement. Advancement in technology could impact sports in various ways for enhancing trainings and methods to change to the changing way of competitions are organized and broadcasted. These developments could also influence the growth and evolution of Python sports in Malaysia. Next will be youth participation. Encouraging youth participation in Python sports through school programs and local clubs can help sustain uh, interest in these sports and create a pipeline for talented athletics to emerge. Next, public awareness and promotion. Effective marketing and media coverage can significantly impact and po the popularity of sports. If Python sports receive adequate public awareness and promotion, they may attract more participants and followers. Finally, collaboration and participation, uh, partnership. Partnership between sporting organization, uh, pri uh, private enterprise and other stakeholders contribute to development and sustainability of fight and sport in Malaysia. Definitely is, uh, it works both ways internal in Malaysia and also um, internationally by connecting with many countries who are active in Python sports. Therefore, it's essential to remember that future is uncertain and various factors can influence the trajectory of sports in any country. For the latest and most accurate information about future of Python sports in Malaysia, uh, please do um, Google and uh, visit our site, Ministry Sports and Youth uh, Ministry sites to get more information and updates. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Esther, for uh, offering us a very interesting presentation of very sports in Malaysia, athletic installations and infrastructure. You highlighted inclusivity, diversity in sports, the role of technology, advancements in technology in the sports industry, the importance of uh, youth participation, of public awareness, and, uh, you know, uh, the interesting uh, thing is that the culture of Malaysia is very it's diverse and this, uh, I know it's um, a melting pot. Malaysia is a melting pot of traditions and practices with different ethnic groups. And um, you have uh, festivals, amazing festivals, like yeah. uh, Mooncake Festival. <laughs> I know. Everything. So many. <laughs> we are, are multi-racial uh, country. So everybody, there's so many holidays because everybody is given holiday to celebrate uh, their festivals yeah so each uh, races have many many festivals but we are given holidays for the main festival so food malaysia is heaven for food culture and uh, that's why many tourists love to come malaysia and many foreigners who come and work here refuse to go back they prefer to marry and marry get married and settle here 
especially. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you very much Thank both you. of you for your contribution. And uh, now I would like to request uh, Dr. Uda Dad from Morocco. I think she's here um, to take the floor. Thank you very much for accepting our invitation. The floor is yours. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. So I'm so sorry for a uh, delay because I had uh, an internet issue connection. So greetings, uh, dear members, and hello, dear Rania, beautiful Rania. And thank you so much for uh, bringing us today together to discuss and uh, exchange our visions regarding our big project, uh, Pitching Games. Uh, so first, let me introduce myself. I am Huda Jad from uh, Morocco. I am an entrepreneur and I'm working on uh, business networking and business mediation. So I have had the pleasure to collaborate with His Excellency Bijenderji for more than uh, two years. For those who uh, don't know me, I'm uh, part of the Executive Council of the Pitian Games, and I uh, represent uh, Africa and Morocco eventually. Uh, so uh, when uh, Mr. Bijenderji talked to me about his project, I immediately joined the Pitian family because I believe in all the noble values the games promote. Sports and art play a crucial role in, um, in spreading peace and love for different cultures and nationalities together, fostering mutual in the understanding and tolerance and cooperation. So sports and art in general can promote solidarity and alleviate political tensions. Uh, art transcends borders and language, covering universal emotions and ideas. Artists can use their creativity to address uh, global uh, issues, inspiring change and raising awareness for peace and, uh, and love. By combining sports and arts, we can promote a message of peace, inclusion, and mutual uh, respect. Sporting, artistic, and cultural activities allow for cultural diversity, strengthen human connections, and encourage dialogue. So sports and art can be powerful catalysts for uh, spreading values of peace and love worldwide, contributing to building a more harmonious and supportive world. Through art in uh, all its forms, we want individuals to understand and experience new perspective. With cultural and artistic exchange, they can learn to respect differences. Through cultural exchange, people learn to know and come closer to one other, uh, accepting diversity and rejecting prejudices. Sports, on the, on, the, on the other hand, transcend borders and bring individuals from uh, diverse backgrounds together. International uh, sporting events promote exchange and cooperation between nations, thereby building stronger bonds. By combining these three elements in the Pitian Games, individuals can develop open-mindedness, enhance empathy toward, uh, towards others, and learn to see beyond the differences. They are also more likely to reject stereotypes and promote inclusion and mutual uh, respect. Ultimately, art, culture, and sports uh, offer precious opportunities to learn from each other, build bridges between cultures and foster a more tolerant and understanding world. So let's talk about uh, Morocco. Uh, it benefits from a strategic geographical position that can certainly facilitate openness to the world. 
uh, its uh, geographical location is uh, crucial and we want to take advantage of it to facilitate the expansion of our big project. Uh, in Morocco, we have access to different cultures. It is a country open to various cultures and religions. Morocco uh, has a rich and uh, diverse historical heritage being a crossword of various civilizations such as Berber, Arab, Jewish, uh, Andalusian, and African. Uh, this history promotes peaceful coexistence of different culture and religions uh, identities. Morocco is pro, um, predominantly a Muslim country, but it has a tolerant Islam. The country recognizes and hosts Jewish and Christian communities that peacefully coexist with the Muslim majority. Morocco is known for its tradition of harmonious cohabitation among different religions. And the places of uh, worship, such as mosques, churches, and synagogues, can be found in several cities bearing witness to uh, this coexistence. Uh, Morocco attracts a large number of international uh, tourists. Who came to uh, who came to discover its historical heritage, uh, but also because it's easily uh, accessible due to its geographical uh, location, as I mentioned, its area. The Moroccan uh, government has adopted policies aimed at promoting openness and religious tolerance. It has also taken measures to preserve the Jewish uh, heritage. Morocco had made a significant progress in promoting peaceful coexistence of uh, different uh, cultures and religions on, on its territory. So Morocco is a country enjoying political uh, stability. It is governed by a constitutional monarchy, which has played an essential role in maintaining the political stability of the country. The government's efforts have also contributed to preserving peace, especially peace. On this occasion, I uh, would like to address um, all our Arab uh, brothers from North Africa, uh, Gulf countries, and the Middle East to join us. Uh, so your presence is highly sought after before diversity is important, and Arabs uh, uh, in general, uh, Arabs have a vast and uh, ancient cultural and uh, artistic heritage. Participate and be members, please. We need Arab representatives. Uh, I would also like to take this opportunity to thank all governments and diplomatic representatives who have believed in us and support us. Um, so thank you so much. Thank you, dear uh, Rania. I believe I have uh, said everything. Thank you again. Thank you very much, Dr. Huda, uh, for your um, very insightful presentation. You know, you are one of the first members who embraced with passion and enthusiasm our movement. And uh, we appreciate you for this. Um, as you say, the culture and arts are powerful catalysts in order to spread peace, love, and tolerance and cooperation. And Morocco has uh, uh, indeed a vast heritage. And due to its political stability, as you said, it can help spread the, all these values that we mentioned. So yeah, uh, we will be in um, contact and constant collaboration. And we are very proud and uh, honored to have you in our team. Thank, Thank you, you very much. <laughs> Uh, so now I would like uh, to um, call upon our next speaker from Cameroon, uh, Mr. Awana Celestine. Can you, uh, Mr. Awana, okay, can you unmute first, introduce yourself, and then you can share your vision um, about modern peace engagements in Cameroon. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Mrs. Eranya. Uh, thank you. I greet all of you. Thank you to Mr. Goel for the invitation. Actually, I'm not in Cameroon now, I'm in, I'm in Sudan. And 
the, the Sudan now, the situation is not uh, really perfect. So I have to, to run out of my city, Khartoum, because in Khartoum, is the, it is a no-go area now because of uh, there is a war. And, uh, so I try to move with my family to another city called uh, Sudan. So I can uh, take them out of the country, but also here in Sudan, there is not fly. So I have to, I am stranded here because of going out. So I have to wait, I don't know what to do. And uh, most of the, the border are closed. That bring that go direct to my to my country. So uh, I have, I'm forced to, to stay here in Sudan to wait. And also, the network is very 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 bad. Yeah. So uh, sorry, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Awona by Joseph Celestin from Cameroon and the uh, uh, International Peace Ambassador and the uh, President of the CWR, Captive Water Rescuers. I promote peace in the world. So I want to, I don't have much to talk, but as you people, you guys know, uh, Cameroon is a country in the central central of Africa, well known uh, with football, we have great uh, icon from football in Cameroon like Roche Mila, Samuel Eto. Many many of them I cannot count them. There are many. So in Cameroon, we live most in uh, our first in agriculture. Agriculture is the first. Uh, business in Cameroon. And after agriculture comes with sport, also sport. Sport is the greatest because uh, in Cameroon, most of the people, ch children, the children, they like sport and uh, all of them, they want to be great footballer. Uh, I'm sorry for my English, I'm a, I'm, I'm a Frenchman, so I try my best to with English, so that's it. So in Cameroon, uh, we like sport. That's why I speak with uh, Mr. Goel. I told him uh, before that the pitching game will be a very great in Cameroon because in Cameroon, we love sport and uh, it is like, uh, I don't know what to call it. It's, it's like a drugs in Cameroon sport. Mm. Most of the people, when the children is born in Cameroon, his dream is to become like Roger Mila, like a Samuelito, you see? So I plan to promote the pitching game in Cameroon, like in, 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 in all areas, even in the restrict areas, in villages. They have to know about the pitch and game because it is a very great project and uh, the vision of Mr. Goel is very great vision. And uh, I'm very happy to be part of this. Very happy also to be with you today, even though if you people cannot know my head is not, I accept this meeting just because uh, are supposed to be to be here today. My head is very, it's not good. I'm not good inside my head because I was inside in the middle of the war for three months. So I just come in this area now, it's uh, one week I come to this area. So, you know, it's like a nostalgia, you know, to be in the middle of these places, bombing coming, yeah, yeah, shooting, shooting. Even I have some people that come in my house, they try to take one of my daughter and go with her. So that's the reason that made me move from the from Khartoum to come to this place. Because it has become very risky to stay 
to stay there. So I'm very sorry that I don't have much to talk today, but I promise in the next meeting, I will be planning. But to know more about Cameroon, you can uh, Google about uh, Cameroon in Google. So you, will, you, can, you people can understand better about the sport in Cameroon. But uh, I promise at uh, the next meeting, I will plan everything and uh, I will explain all. It is a great pleasure for me to be with you. Thank you to give me the speech. And uh, my promise is that I want the pitch and them to be in Cameroon and uh, I am ready to, to do that. This is my promise. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ms. Serania. Thank you, all of you. I pray may God bless you all. And uh, I need your prayers also because I am in a very tough situation where I am. I am stuck here with my family. So I'm trying to find a solution to get out of the, of the country to go to Cameroon. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sir. <laughs> For your wonderful presentation, as you said, Cameroon has a wonderful potential to promote Pekin Games in the sports domain. Um, I really loved what you said, how you stimulate and motivate uh, students and children uh, towards sports and basketball. We appreciate your enthusiasm and your efforts to envision and uh, plan uh, all this uh, contribution of Monte Pitting Games in Cameroon. And I hope we will start uh, organizing our first events there. And uh, I hope to visit there Africa. In Northern Africa, there are many challenges, of course, well aware of this. But I think that through collaboration, we can solve uh, many, many issues. Thank you very much for accepting our invitation. And also, I would like to invite uh, all the countries around Cameroon in Central Africa to join the pitch and game because it is a very great idea because sport is uh, is like is like a way a way to to mobilize people and uh, it is also a way to peace. Mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely, definitely. Thank you very much. Thank you. You are welcome, Mrs. Rana. Thank you. Um, now, I would like to call upon our, our next uh, keynote speaker, Dr. Priyankya Neoji from India. She's a very, very active in the cultural domain. <laughs> Recently, I was invited by her in a virtual uh, book fair. She organizes uh, uh, many times, I think, um, uh, such uh, cultural events, uh, such, uh, like uh, book fairs and many, many other things. I will let you, uh, Dr. Pijanka, to explain all this on your own. Can you please introduce yourself and then share uh, what you're doing uh, in India, how you can contribute to all this global, uh, global cultural movement? Because I'm sure that uh, you can uh, offer a lot. The floor is yours. Thank you so much. Namaskar. Assalamu alaikum. Marhaba. Very good evening to all of you. I am Ambassador Dr. Priyanka Yogi from India. My hearty thanks to uh, respected Bijander Goel Sar, who is the organizer of NPG. And my special thanks goes to Rania Lampu from Lee. Today's conference is Modern Python Games in Global Vision for Artists and Players. The current era is the era of technological education. Every person is ahead in the era of technology, advance in education system, culture, sports, fashion, everything. Today, every person wants opportunity. Every person wants to perform on a big platform. 
I think the modern Python game will provide that opportunity through the their organization. The idea of modern Python games came from the inspiration of ancient Python game. Aims and objective of modern Python games. The council shall be uh, sole authority uh, globally for the modern Python games and the Python movement and shall conduct the modern Python games such as Python games, regional Python games, South Asian Python games, para Python games, junior Python games, national Python games, junior national Python games, all Dolphin and Pythia Apollo Awards. There have eight aim and objective for musical, instrumental, and vocal to performing and to the uh, arts. Three, visual, heritage, and artisan arts for the language, literary, auditory arts for uh, fifth, the robotic, virtual, and digital arts. Six, social and cultural arts. Seven, martial entertainment and traditional arts. Eight, art, um, architecture, uh, Tonic and eco arts. Today's point is uh, what is benefit uh, by modern Python game for the general people or uh, who is uh, participate or who is related cultural field. India is a vast and diverse city. This country has a huge number of people. People of this country are very fond of literature and culture. Culture. Rabindranath Tagore is the wall poet. He is from India. A, along with that, India has also highlighted itself in the world of sports like that cricket, football, tennis, everything. Still, some people may be able to show their talent due to lack of opportunity. If they get any opportunity through this modern Python game, uh, I believe they will be perform and they will be prove his or herself. Participating in something is beneficial. Mean participate means benefit. You are loss or win. It is second step. So every um, performer, every artist, please. Don't think you are win or loss, but you definitely uh, take participate your games or your literacy. And uh, I think uh, this is upper matter who is the uh, national and international award. But I think uh, lower position cultural performer who is uh, from slums area, hills area. Uh, I see, this is my experience. Uh, this is not uh, just my example of India. This is the world example. Uh, many uh, area have uh, many talented uh, children, person, but they have not got opportunity. They are, have not opportunity that, uh, that's why they are not show their talent. So um, our responsibility or any responsibility, um, I think, uh, Python, uh, modern Python game, I think uh, will be take responsibility for this type of uh, area uh, because uh, one platform give the, ch uh, give the ch uh, chance and one chance change the life of performer. So need chance. Uh, there my point is uh, benefit, benefit means uh, Olympic, another game, Olympic like that, uh, many international uh, sportsmen, uh, they are, have participated. But uh, modern Python game, another uh, organization, from my view, this is the another, uh, another uh, organization of the world who, uh, who take responsibility for, just not for upper level, uh, also, village area, some areas, uh, it is children, person, because I want beautiful world. I want every person uh, can get a chance to their perform. 
so uh, need opportunity for every person um, and uh, benefit means again i say benefit means participate means benefit if you participate then you can prove yourself so please stay with uh, modern python game thank you Thank you so much, Dr. Piyanka. It's very, very important to uh, place emphasis on um, uh, how we can um, promote culture and sports uh, among the privileged um, groups and vulnerable groups. Uh, you talked about the slums. Uh, you talked about all these uh, um, people who don't have um, the necessary socioeconomic background. Uh, of course, in India, uh, literature, I know it's very well developed. Every week I'm invited to cultural events there, and I know you are doing incredible work uh, on Indians. I have many friends and many, um, I'm collaborating with many organizations who um, really uh, contribute a lot uh, in order to promote the culture and uh, the sports. Uh, and you too, I know uh, you're organizing uh, book fairs and many, many other events. Uh, you will be an asset for us. Um, this uh, cultural movement um, and uh, I hope that we can start planning our next uh, um, our next move and uh, include you of course uh, in this. Thank you very much Dr. Priyanka. Actually uh, Rania, only mm -hmm. education and cultural matter can make satisfaction mentality. Mm -hmm. Yes definitely, definitely. Education is uh, among all, you know I'm an educator and uh, uh, all these values that we mentioned about peace, love, uh, tolerance, uh, all this can be spread uh, through education. Education is the first one. That's why I am telling uh, during my presentations that uh, students should be um, inculcated all these values at school. Uh, so educators are responsible uh, for this uh, mission and vision. Media, uh, modern Pithian Games uh, is very close to students. And uh, schools definitely should be included uh, in this cultural movement. And I know that you have also uh, participated in the national uh, poetry competition, right? Yes. I think <laughs> you have participated. Thank you. Thank you very much um, for your contribution. And uh, now I request uh, Mr. Bijender Goel, the founder of uh, Modern Pekin Games and founding uh, Secretary General of the National Pekin Council, to deliver his uh, concluding remarks. Mr. Bijender, we are honored to welcome you to our virtual stage. Thank you. Thank you, Rania. Good evening, everybody. It was a great uh, honor for me to meet you all today, especially uh, Ishrat, Esther Mala, Ida, and Priyanka. Mrs. Huda, Mr. Avana, and uh, Rania, they are the founder of this organization. So they are attached uh, to us uh, since long. They know uh, what uh, they have done to promote this organization because this is going to help the humanity as well as the artists and the players. Our focus is how we can offer a platform to those artists who has never any platform at global level. If you talk about the, uh, we have included uh, performing art, performing arts, we have included uh, music art, we have uh, visual arts, we have the language art, we have the social arts, uh, architecture, uh, ecology, digital arts. Then we have covered all sports which is not covered under the Olympic Committee Charter. Even we have included the cricket for the disabled, visually impaired uh, people in this uh, Pithian Games. So this is a concept which we think that we can offer this and this is the first organization uh, I can say this is going to be the first organization in the world when the governance will be is given to the people. Because one person or one executive body cannot govern the Pythian Games because it has a vast structure. If you see the logo, it is like nine planets, it's the universe, so it has no limit. The same way, art has no limit. Any organization can cannot control the Pythian Games, so it is only possible once a 
Priyanka has her own art and she governs her own organization and we support her. The same, the Ida is doing something in uh, Philippines. The Esther is doing in uh, Malaysia. And being a global organization, International Pythian Council always support them by all means. Because you have to create event, you have to put your idea here. Platform is going where you can complete your dream. And I hope so very soon because creating a structure is always a big problem. It's a very difficult problem. So we have done ABC. Now looking forward to DEF moving ahead. Now we have also started to establish dip diplomatic relationships. Um, I just uh, met a few diplomats uh, in Delhi, about seven to eight countries. And earlier I have called upon uh, some ambassadors also and I'll be keep in touch because creating diplomatic relation is uh, very essential. I would also like to uh, bring to your knowledge as you all aware Pythian Games and uh, Olympic Games existed in the same era they were this continued at the same time in 394 and 394 after Christ. Olympic was restarted in 1894, but Pithin gave us started last year only. The Olympic Games got recognition after 22 years. After 22 years. In this way, we have moved very fast. We are making, because communication, we have now best communication. So we are able to communicate each other by sitting in Delhi and you are sitting in Philippines or Morocco or uh, in Malaysia. So communication is very fast. We can connect to each other. So by this concept, by using this communication, we are now connecting to the diplomatic missions. We are connecting to the governments. We are now connecting to the artists. We are connecting to the people. By introducing our international competition in painting and uh, poetry, it was just a experience, experiment for us. Because we want to see how we can work there to reach to every artist in the world. And we have successfully achieved it. So all decision will be taken on a neutral basis and to for the best of every artist. So we are adopting some new vision in this field where we will launch a lot of virtual competitions in coming times as well as we are going to launch uh, physical competitions also. So Pythian game is the, we think is going to change the global economy in coming times. I don't know how much time it will take, but I'm hopeful the people like you, the artists like you, the, uh, the devotion of the people like you will definitely, it is going to make the Pythian Games a great success. And I expect more ideas from you people. How we, we should go ahead. So you can put your, you can give your idea, your dream to us so that we can, can convert it to the reality and we'll put in you as the in charge of that particular segment. I heard Esther Mala, she, she told me some, uh, told us a uh, lot of things about uh, Malaysian and uh, the sports existing there. This platform is only for those platforms who has no platform. I specifically, the Spectra is also there. Martial arts is also there. And old traditional games. So we are now in the process of creating the national structure physically organizations in these countries. You can be part of that. Whatever recommendation will, become, will come from the Malaysia or any other country, we will take into the consideration and we will showed them, uh, shortlist the events from particular countries to, to give exposure at the international level. So first we will focus on those games, which is very common in more than 30 or 40 countries because whatever response the Pythian game is getting, I think no sports has uh, received so far. 
you see when olympic started only eight countries were together and when cricket started only two countries were there but when the pithian game started the representative of 92 countries were together and in the if you see in the last four sessions i think the representatives of more about 20 countries has participated in this seminars and this is a big achievement for us it's a big achievement and rania is focusing to bring the whole world together and this is our mission and i hope i am hopeful easter can deliver a lot in malaysia in that region ida you can do lot of things in philippines and we have some other people also there you, so your team can deliver a lot and particular you can develop uh, the art in your category where is you have the interest so we are we are there to support and uh, i have no words for mrs huda uh mr avana they are already working so hard so the as the today i think we have reached to almost 40 40 42 countries in african region due to mr efforts of mrs hoda mr avana and mr some other people who contributed but this all was initiated by mrs hoda that i i just give a big hand my salute to her she is a great pillar of us and rania rania is the uh, the person to whom you see connected me to the god to delphi so she is also one of the biggest and strongest foundation of uh, uh, this organization and you can also understand if rania and uh, mrs hudda is people like this is behind this organization you know their character you know their record so you you must also understand how this organization is going to grow in coming future so i need your all support your dedication and uh, your all support you can create a big team in your countries this is only my request my request because i am working day and night uh, to get pithian games on track and uh, i want to start some activities first time in india we have supported those mountaineers and we are celebrating those mountaineers who won the mount everest and we are celebrating 70 years of of that uh, uh, that uh, they, when they climbed uh, on the everest and uh, we are celebrating this in jharkhand on uh, 20th of august our jharkhand council is uh, working on it the same way we are working to create a world record we are working to organize a millet festival in south india in chennai our team is working very hard and they have told me they are going to put about 1000 recipes of the millet and products there and it will be a world record we are also planning some events in the cricket in the some polo some artistic events so very soon you will see lot of activities happening in india and we also want these activities to reach to to get started in your countries also you start with win event, one event with two events virtually whenever you need connection you need any link we are always available rania is always there to help you out so you can organize virtual programs you can organize you can tie up with the any physical you are the schools educational programs or any guidance whatever you need from us we are always there and we will try to support you and as soon as i think this next two years next two years pithian game is going to be a big brand you will get all media publicity and you know the pithian games are uh, now getting lot of media attention also so there i don't have any doubt that you are not going to be a big brand and we are going to be a part of a big organization the people are joining and this is going to be the first cultural movement of the world but it's not possible without your support that can i can say thank you so much today for today rania thank you very much sir, mr general goel uh, for your very very interesting uh, and your motivating presentation 
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to congratulate uh, the Multipithian Game Team for organizing this uh, very enriching global virtual conference with uh, the light of God Apollo, who was the God of light, poetry, and healing arts. And of course, with hard work and dedication, we can uh, actually exceed our expectations. I would like to thank our eminent guests from all over the world today, uh, all the audience who watched us live uh, through social media and channels, and uh, uh, Mr. Bijender, Coel, and Panos Kaltzis, who are the two initiators of this global cultural movement. As our keynote speakers uh, highlighted, we need to promote uh, this spirit of uh, the harmonious spirit of anti civilization, culture, and arts in order to promote this in the cultural harmony, in order to spread the peace, love, and tolerance. Thank you all very much, and see you again next week with more topics and more uh, guest speakers. Thank you all very much. I would like to say something in the end only. This virtual conference is also again an experiment so that we can reach to every people in the world. This is, this is the basically logic behind it. And we can collect the ideas from you people, how we can govern the Pithian game so that we can come out with a policy. And that policy can be handed over to you people to govern in your country. So it is only your organization. You have to run this organization. And I want to more ideas, more uh, support from your country. I expect so. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank anything you. anything you want to say? If you have anybody, any, any question? I just want to talk to Awona Celestine because I know that uh, he's challenging there. We, we all know um the the war uh, issues in uh, uh, in um, sorry in sudan so yes please, oh sorry strong. i forget mm -hmm. yeah be strong we are sure that uh, we will succeed you will succeed and uh, we we all we are with you yes Thank mr Awana. Uh, just i'm sorry i could not uh, speak on the issue it was in my mind but uh, Really, I know you are going with a very tough time and the whole Pethian family is with you. Any support, whatever you need, you can you can tell us. We are we are always with you. This is with my folded hands. Thank you. Thank you. Nice meeting you. And, Thank uh, you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Mrs. Uda. Thank you, Mr. Gohel. Thank you, all of you. Thank you. May God bless and protect us all. And uh, may this vision go forward and forward and forward, just forward. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.